Okay, I'd like to call a meeting to order 530 this evening. And before we get started, just to reiterate, we're expecting respectful behavior from everyone, especially Dawn. And um, two minutes for if you want to speak on the agenda items, you get to be speak twice um, on each agenda item after everybody in the room speaks, especially Tom, we got to remind him because we got chock a block full of room people in here today. Two minutes once for each community comments. Okay. Any changes or additions to the agenda? I'm adding legal to the executive session motion, if you wouldn't mind, and that is in the sample motions that I've provided. Okay. Thank you. And approve the minutes from December 18th, 2023. So I'll um, move to approve the minutes of December 18th with just one um, change um, on the second page, number five, the charter committee. It uh, said that the membership has been determined and will consist of all five select board members. Um, I think it was recommended and then it was determined by the motion. It's more of a, I guess, the semantics. Yeah. yeah. But, but other than that, I would move the um, minutes of uh, December 18, 2023. So, what did you want that to say? I, I got it. Okay, never mind. You. Judy, I'll second that. Okay, thank you. And a motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, minutes have been approved. New business, Board of Liquor Control. And I know we had something. It's yeah, on the, on the red pen, just because we decided to, um, Sarah and Judy and I, put the Liquor Control Board on the same agenda so we wouldn't um, miss miss them. We did miss them at our last meeting. And also because now it's not gonna just be in the spring. It's, it's a year long, 12 month rolling at, uh, renewal. So. You'll see these all year long. Okay. Yeah. So we have to make a motion to come out of select board? Just recess the select board meeting okay. and uh, convene as the liquor con so liquor and tobacco. I would, I would move to recess the select board meeting. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I got a motion and a second. And um, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Aye. sir. So there are three liquor license renewals um, for Slim Point, which is um, River Bend Market, Cumberland Farms, Price Chopper. They're all second class license renewals. Yeah. So I have a motion to approve those liquor license renewals. So I move to approve the liquor license renewals as presented. Second. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Is Jason all those in, in favor? Room? Is Jason in the room? No, he is not. He is not, but we did speak to him twice today. He didn't have any issues that I'm aware of. Okay, thank you. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion asked for the liquor license renewals. There are two tobacco license renewals, one for Slim Point, which is River Bend Market, and one for Cumberland Farms. Um, both are for tobacco. Cumberland Farms is also um, for tobacco substitute, which is vaping products. I would move to approve the tobacco license renewals as presented. I have a motion of a second. A second. Okay, Richard seconded. And um, any discussion? Oh. Once All again, I assume Jason's okay with it? Yes. I, I've sent it out to him and I haven't heard otherwise. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion has passed for the tobacco license renewals. Did you want to move right into, oh, sorry. Motion to adjourn. Yeah, I'm sorry, I move to adjourn the Board of Liquor and Tobacco Control meeting. I have a motion of a second. I'll second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Do we have Aye. to then open the meeting? So just reconvene. Move. Just do we have a motion to reconvene? So I move okay. to reconvene the select board meeting. I have a motion to a second. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm back Aye. into the meeting. I think I'm next. You, you are. Next. Um, so this is more of a 
I'm taking the opportunity to make a public um, announcement or, and just to let you um, as board members know to help spread the word. Now that we vote all by Australian ballot for town meeting, any local candidates that um, want to run need to submit a petition with 30 signatures and the deadline is 5 p.m. on Monday, January 29th. There are petitions on our new website. They can email me for a petition. They can call. Um, and the op there's two different select board seats that are opened, a lister position, trustee of public fund, two library directors, and um, the school has a school director that's a Morristown resident and then a school director that can be either Morristown or Elmore. So just candidates, 30 signatures by January 29th. And then anybody that wants to add an article on the warning, um, like a social service agency, those petitions, article petitions require 5% of the voter checklist, which is about 210 signatures. And that deadline is 4 p.m. on Thursday, January 18th. Yes. And also those are on our website or they can contact me. We can get um, a blank petition for them. And you're also going to mention that on Saturday. I am. Thank um, you, sir. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Will uh, folks that are trying to get petitions signed going to be allowed to have a table at the January 6th? Um, or only, only I don't know about a table just space wise, but um, it's an excellent place for them to walk around and get signatures. I just don't know if we're going to have enough room for all the tables we need. So the people that have tables are people that had um, appropriations last year. Mm -hmm. So anybody who's trying to get a petition or a new petition will not be allowed a table. Is that the what we're I did not. I just want to take it that way. So no, okay. Yeah. Are there some? I don't know. I have to look at my list. Okay. I don't know. I just thought that, you know, since it would it would be yeah. great if, if they're trying to get an appropriation to have a table and, and you know, just information on Linda. Yeah, I didn't find everybody that was on the ballot last year. Okay. okay. Um, but we have Judy's added, been doing all the tables. Yeah, but we haven't uh, put out any notice for new applicants as well. Oh, no, no, I didn't know. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. If new people are coming in, it'd be an excellent, because if they, they have till the, 18, not 18, 18, 18, so they've got time, so they can't really promote. So do, do we think it's a good idea to put it out there that if they're trying to petition to, I mean, I, we hadn't really generate any rules so I mean I guess you guys can it's your meeting not my meeting yeah. so I I'm going to leave that question to you guys yes it's informal it, the, the Saturday yeah. thing is informal. I mean I think we should put out some you know that anybody who is looking for an appropriation uh, even though they haven't turned in their petition that they request a table because any anybody who's looking for money it's good to know about them and then if they're on the ballot they're on the ballot if they get the signatures they're on the ballot well certainly at a minimum we could put it on the website yeah but it doesn't i mean notice on the and website. we can put an info table out i just don't know to sarah's point how much room yeah, we we're can gonna have so well, somebody could put, put a big flyer and yeah and we could put a caveat that you know they should uh, really reach out to me if they're yeah, yeah, yeah i was gonna say let's do that because i'm really yeah. Yeah. yeah well they should register the table anyway. How yeah. it's always been in the past was it was first come first serve with how much rum and they had to pre read they couldn't just show up that day. Yes. And get okay, they would have to pre register for okay. a table and, and we can say, you know, uh, Friday, space of, you know, space is limited. So, yeah. And they have to pre register by Friday, maybe noon. Is that too late? Mm -hmm. or is that good? Mm -hmm. Okay, Friday at noon. Okay. okay, okay, yeah. Because we had, did do a little dry run in the gym. And, it's not a ton of space. No. If we're wildly successful and people show up, yeah. the floor will be full of people. It's always good to be as welcoming as possible, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Great. It's hard to get signatures during winter. There is, let me, I'll announce it on Saturday. I think it's the following Monday. I think it's Monday 8th. The eight.
That is where you want to go to get signatures. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. That's, that, that's the yeah. best event. In St. Albans, it's hockey no games. No fans, indoor yeah. track. That's good to know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I, I always highly recommend going to a basketball game to get signatures. Mm -hmm. That's great. Recording stopped. Recording in progress. Um, in terms of sight distances um, to potable water, um, you know, transient non-community public water systems, um, the requesting property owner further agrees to the second portion of this, you know, most of that is state statute as well. So it gives the family good information. And then really the third piece that was, was not on the original form that is on this one was the fact that the health officer, whoever that person would be, will do a, uh, will, uh, assert that they've done an on-site review and we'll sign off on it so that it protects and identifies basically the, the community um, mm -hmm. moving forward so i would highly recommend approving this as it's presented don do you have any questions no i read through it i thought it was pretty clear and uh i i liked it the way it was the way it's presented mm -hmm. nice <laughs> So I'll make a motion to approve the family burial site form as presented. I'll second that. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I have one question. Yeah, just a question. Introduce yourself first. Yeah, please. my name's Tom Cody Morristown. Uh, do we have a, an alternate uh, health officer now? I know that the last with the uh, Theo that uh, Todd was out of the country, and it seems like that we would have somebody. You know, a an assistant health officer, that? an assistant health officer, yeah, assistant mm -hmm. or you know whatever yep. to, to take care. Of. I, I know that. I thought he we requested one a couple of weeks ago, a couple of meetings, and maybe not. I mean, he's requested that I hear for quite some time. We're yeah. working on someone right now who didn't say no, okay. but uh, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> some people are going to be. You know, break it's down a difficult the job. Or, it's yeah. a tough job to find um, yeah. somebody to do, but I believe we have someone. Okay, but it's a good question because we probably should uh, set a deadline for ourselves. Yeah. That's all. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So, Aye. Yeah, the private burial site form has been accepted. And on to old business. Um, I wanted to thank Judy and Sarah for the website. I know her people were talking about that before we started the meeting, and I haven't had a chance to really look in depth to the website, but it's really a wonderful change, and it, it's inviting and comprehensive and a lot of information on that. I thank you so much. I don't have any idea how anybody designs a website, but I'm sure there was a lot of hours that went into that. A lot. Of, I do. I mean, it's... A lot of uh, coordination between the people actually writing and coding and yes and design. It's, you guys did a great job. Thank you. I know it's, it's something you've been wanting to do for oh, a long it's time. A big, it's a big project. Well, it's the navigation that's really easy on it now. Yeah. Um, so, any other old business? I guess I'll also do a little PSA. We did change emails, so if there's any glitches with email, please just call. Um, the office. I think most of it seems to be the changeover is pretty seamless, but um, there's been a few hiccups where the, it didn't go as as they thought it would. I, and I was warning everybody if, if uh, your computer saves links that you're going to have to change them because it says dot dot word dot gov. So yes. and it's going to be a while before the world everything gets switched over. So just tell everybody that you know if they get a 404 page that. 
the, we have not gone away. <laughs> right. 404 means not so, found. Not found, yeah. So uh, to spread the word that we are here. Next on the agenda, approve warrants. I would move to approve the warrants. I have a second. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So Aye. that warrants have been approved. Thank you, Don. Sorry, I'm not waiting for you. I'm sorry. That's I've, I've noticed that, Trudy. <laughs> I'm, I'm tallying up the number of times. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, number seven, community comments. Do we have any community comments? That's that's it. That's me. Yep. Uh, that's thank you. Tom uh, The only I got a couple of comments. First of all, I, I would like to request a. Uh, a uh, agenda item on possible park, on what the future is, what we're looking forward to doing with that, and uh, and uh, how much money it's going to cost us. So, uh, but what we're going to do with Oxford Park? That my first one. My second Tom, one. I'm sorry to interrupt, Tom. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you broke in and out. Uh, it's the internet, not not your fault. What what was the agenda item you were requesting? Uh, what will the, what the future is for Oxbow Park? Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, my second one is just a personal comment about about uh, about a, a a post on Front Porch Forum uh, over the holidays, which is bad timing, sure ruins some people's holidays. But one thing I got is the comment on how much money it's going to cost us from this budget. First of all, for this board to say that this early is really inappropriate. And and because we don't have a tax rate, we don't uh, we don't have any enough information to say two hundred thousand dollar home is going to be six or one dollars. We don't have enough information, and to put that out there, have people think that that's what they're going to pay, is just wrong at this point. We don't have a budget. We don't have the information to be putting out this. This is the board that told us a very few months ago that the appraisals weren't going to bother our taxes. No, I, was, I did not say that. Well, so. I'm saying yeah. what, if he says it, it's, I take it the whole board. But my assumption is if he's that something, he's speaking for the whole board. I mean, didn't we have that discussion a little earlier? So the whole board is now saying this was it. Before the whole board said, don't worry about the appraisals. And we got people right here, and this, this guy over there was, was saying, we certainly did have a lot of property. So we can't really believe you at this point. That's not true, Tom. And I'd like to respond to it if that's okay. Um, uh, it's, it's, I don't think it, we can respond to comments. We you can, can but questions. well, I think that it's it's a matter of facts. That's right. The trade here, lack of. So you can wait a minute. We're not. This is not facts. Can you we can't put be it putting, on the agenda? I, because we, we have, I would like to. I think we need we need like Tom. I'm speaking. not. I'm not done. Right. Yeah. Three months. Yeah. Up later. That's all right. This is way premature. We putting out figures like this. And, and and we don't want to start this a community against the board. We don't need, we don't want that. And to do that, we, I cannot believe that a five hundred thousand dollar house is going to be one fifty three. I just can't believe that. And we look, we can't. I can. I don't see how you have the figures to say that. So you you stated that. I thought you had other questions. I don't really have a. Oh, I'm up. All right. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, I get it. Um, go ahead. You've got someone's hand, it's awesome. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Tony, Cody, Cody Hill. So I want to know what the sidewalk policy is uh, when it snows. If anybody can tell me, because I want to know. Mm-hmm. 
Um, we don't have, well, we have a written policy, but it doesn't really get into the weeds, I don't think. So that's why we were talking about revising it. Um, because the policy is generally, as I'm sure you know, because there seems to be an undercurrent of people who get certain information, but I'm trying to correct that and make sure everyone gets the same, um, that traveled roads are treated first. Um, they do try to get the sidewalk plow out, but our primary concern is parking lots and roads. Secondary, after, in a reasonable amount of time, we try to get the sidewalk plow and then get someone to go out and clean up all of the stuff that that does not catch. So keep in mind, Morristown has 14 workers, I think. Yep. Three supervisors. Stowe has seven workers and one supervisor. And the sidewalks get plowed down there because I'm down there every morning. Um, Carly's iCat. Um, Kathy Chafee. So uh, just uh, quickly what Tom was saying, I, I really um, read that post on Front Porch Forum and I think it's misleading in some ways because it was only stated it would be four point something percent increase, but um, that's not counting the $500,000 you want to take out of the fund. And I think that should be um, mentioned when you um, speak about percentages of what the budget will be and what it could have been. Um, the second was sidewalks. Whose responsibility is it um, to clean the side of the sidewalk so customers can get into the businesses? Like, the last storm, I saw an old, older lady trying to get into the post office and you can't get from the road to the sidewalk. So you have to walk down the road till you can find a place to get onto the sidewalk. Yeah. So th that that's that's a concern to me. Thank you. Yeah, I think we hear you. Um, honestly, um, we're, we're looking at that and trying to improve it. I mean, I know that in St. Albans for a while, they had the storefront, the owners of those properties clearing the, the snow and that doesn't work. But um, I thought getting to it that very, um, within 24 hours sometimes, not always, that's why I didn't use that parameter. Um, they try to get there and they did that day that I asked them questions they had already gone in the middle of the night and cleared the snow before they were aware that anything had happened. That was their current protocol without us changing it. So we will address it. We hear you, but we're not going to do it. Um, you know, in the office, we're going to give you a draft and bring it to the select board. So that's our goal there. Thank you. Um, and as far as the percentages, um, I know we're not going to get into a back and forth debate about the, the front porch forum post, but I thought that putting that number out there would just be an estimate. If that wasn't clear, my my bad. We had um, we had intended to to just try to give you an idea of what it's like because what I've heard in the last three select board meetings is people citing percentages as if they were fact, and that's what I took umbrage with. Reference to Tom's comment, we don't know yet, so let's not say that because. You know, a 10.8, 10.4, or 4.4, or 4.2, we don't know what it what it's right. going to equal. We really don't. So we meant to just guide people to give some idea of where we're at. Not, it's not the Bible. It's not in stone. There's a lot of stuff that's still moving well, it around. it clearly says in the post, because I wrote the post, that we are discussing 4.4%. Okay. We were discussing 4.4%. So it's not, it was not meant to be so final. It wasn't a final number. No. It was clearly seen discussing. And where the numbers come from in terms of the actual dollars as it, as it portrays to appraise value, that came from the finance department. They ran the numbers, Tom. Yeah. They ran the numbers just like they did before. And that's where, and they were based on the 4.4% increase. Tina ran the numbers in conjunction with uh, Sarah, because Sarah has the computer uh, program to do that. And that's what generated the numbers based on what we're discussing for a budget at this point. Those are the numbers. And I want to be really clear. They keep saying we. I knew nothing about this post. The, our our um, procedures clearly say that no one person on this board 
has the right to speak for the select board. So I want to be very clear. I did not know about this post. We is not this board. And the, the other part of this is uh, my understanding is the post was made just to that they would be uh, more not willing, but um, entice them to come to the meeting on Saturday. It was more for information to get people to be talking and coming to the meeting so they could hear it from from us at the meeting. And that and that and that post was vetted through and was given the green light to go ahead and post. Not as a select board. I signed it as Chris Palermo, not as a yes. member of the select board. VCLT, would you like what they have to say? No, actually, I don't really okay. want to get into well, it. From so, it Tom, okay. Tom, this is, speak, this, is uh, this is community well, comments. You've had your two minutes. Ridiculous. That's all. I'll get That's two channels, right? No, not in community comments. You get once. Well, at agenda yeah, items, you get two. Please sit down. There, just a second, and your procedures on running this, you can take a vote. To no, allow no. me, you can take a, you can take a vote yeah. to allow me to another two minutes. It says so in your okay, and uh, so I, I'd like you to take a vote and allow vote me for two more Tom minutes. to speak another two minutes. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Nay. 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 Okay. Thank, thank you. you, Tom. If it's something you'd like, you should, and as we talked about, send it to me. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Kathy Chafee. So no, I Kathy. can't. I can't yeah. ask another question. No, this, this we can we take a vote on Kathy speaking again. Communications into into action here at all, Jimmy. It just doesn't help to do that. I mean, you can keep doing it. And, uh, we we set up a policy, Tom, and I in order to to sign, kind of adhere to some kind of structure, we need we're adhering to it. Yeah, okay. We're not adhering to it. Sorry. So, um, next on the agenda is the schedule number eight. So I added that section just to try to be a little more clear as I did get a question from the public um, about which were our regular meetings, which ones were budget. That's all. So yeah. okay. if there's anything I forgot, let us know. We'll update it once a month. I, um, I was hoping here we could talk about, and I, hopefully we can, how we're going to be functioning on Saturday. We can talk about it here or, okay. or later. I didn't know. Yeah. I really isn't an agenda item per se, so I'm a little like wondering if it's okay. What the, what's a, what's the structure going to look like? And you could talk about it here. Very I mean, different. I think I could follow there. It's listed the schedule. Okay, today. I would like to do that because with, this is something. Down, yeah. <laughs> no, well, you, you're looking at all the rules too, so that's. I mean, that's what we talked about. So and this is brand new to us. So. Yeah. We're not used to this kind of a procedure, so I'd like to have some discussion about it. I don't know how the rest of the would, board feels. I was asked if we were having a moderator. So I can tell you the parts that I know or I have organized. Um, we do have a moderator. Shop's going to be there as a moderator. Um, we need to get him a script, so we need to figure that piece out still. Um, I've reached out to the Boy Scouts to see if they'll do the anthem. I have not heard yet, but they're trying to get um, Boy Scouts to come do an anthem. Um, I have reached out to National Honor Society to see if they will be involved. Like, figure it out. The middle school students are going to come and sing like they do at the beginning um, every, um, every time. Um, so they, they will sing that anthem did i say that and the boy scouts is the flag salute um so the idea is that beginning piece would be just like town meeting that we're that we're used to um judy has been getting um volunteers for pies do we still need a few more pies we need some more pies so if anybody wants to donate a pie um and in the past for years morrisville soccer club the euro trip has done um the food um done refreshments in and have a donation jar so they have agreed to um serve all the pies um that are donated for us um will they be cutting the pies too yeah cutting mm -hmm. the pies and serving them yeah. mm -hmm. so as an example what kind of pies are we asking for is just anything <laughs> anything so, chocolate cream yeah so they can be savory pies they can be cream pies they can be quiches mm -hmm. somebody asked if they could bring a pizza pie you can bring um 
Oh. Cheeseburger pie. You can bring a veggie pie. Yep. Um, Tom, I bring a Thompson's pie. Yeah, it's not. It's not just apple and pumpkin. It's any kind of pie um, you would like. Um, from eight thirty to nine, I think it is. That's when um, there'll be pie. There'll be the music. The, you know, social hour gather. Nine o'clock is when the budget piece will start. Mm -hmm. um, that chef will moderate. I don't remember the times. We were thinking about thirty minutes for the select board, so that um, just to provide a budget overview, and then having each of the. Um, and then there'll be 30 minutes for questions after the budget. And then there'll be appropriations. The appropriations, right. Yeah. So we were thinking we the questions could be after the appropriations, I think. Yeah. But we were working yeah. those we're working details out. Agenda, but we just say, look, if you can summarize what you're doing for for the town in five minutes, um, answer some quick questions, and then if there's more detailed questions asked. We're going to direct them to go to your table afterwards. Um, so that would be, you know, the budget overview yep. and then questions yep. and then the appropriate open up 30 minutes for the appropriations. Yeah, I mean, there's it could be in either order, but we're trying to fill that hour and a half, but keep people honest so that, you know, some appropriations, they could they could talk for 30 minutes alone. Mm -hmm. And we have seven or eight of them already. So we're asking them to to keep it to five minutes. The other thing um, was I planned to make an announcement like I did tonight about the petitions. I thought I could bring some blank petitions there if anybody wanted one. Um, I could have some blank petitions there. I think Judy was going to make an announcement about our new website. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> if people had questions. One, one cool thing, I know we're not talking about the website, is there's a way to sign up to get any announcements from the website. So um, we wanted to announce mm -hmm. that to the community, just similar to how you can sign up to get the agendas for meetings. You can get um, announce website and like announcements. Mm -hmm. Like the road quotes, roads quotes. Mm -hmm. You can get those announcements without asking. Without, without asking, without without you just any you just follow. sign yeah. sign up for it. I've been dreaming if I get my act together to publish it between now and, and Saturday to steal another idea that a lot of towns do is um, to raffle off the dog, the first dog tag number one, because everybody thinks oh, their dog yeah. is number one. Yeah, so um, I need to get the word out. I haven't done anything but build it in my head. Um, so it would, you would you'd have to be present and then um, just have a little table and you can put your name and um, so really maybe if somebody really wants to be dog tag number one, then they have to come to the meeting. That's very clever. <laughs> and they have cool. to stay. Yeah. And they have That's to stay because cool. we would draw it at the at the end of the meeting. To like a 50-50 then you're thinking or what? No, no just um, the one. Just then I okay. would I would hold dog tag number okay. one. I won't. And the, um, you just have to be present to win. Um, and you would get you would get to be number one. And you just have to register your dog legally by April 1st or it will go. Mm -hmm. to the next person so raffle not necessarily for money then. not no no okay. money that's what i was yeah yeah sorry <laughs> no it's fine yeah so, and um just for public comment we'll still follow the same protocol and so they can talk about anything for two minutes um oh you mean at the meeting yes i don't think we were going to do that but we're not doing any just general public con just no. but oh, there will be, but i guess yes yeah, so i guess if we you think we're going to need parameters then you can provide us some direction on what as a group you'd like to have there i think it would be just the, well at town meeting there was a spot at the very end of the meeting to discuss any other business mm -hmm. yeah. but we're not this is strictly just the budget just to me, we need to focus just on that and not on anything else. That's yeah, we don't have all the articles nailed yeah, down. We yeah. don't have a draft yeah, so warning yet. I just think we need to make it clear because now that there's mm -hmm. been public notice for months now about the um, local options tax, people think it's on this budget and it's going to come up and we don't have the information. And I, I don't feel like we should be talking about it at all because we don't. We just want to commit. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree because I think that it's our job to start sharing that information because people, some people get busy, they don't pay attention to our meetings. I know it's important to us, but not everyone watches every meeting. And, you know, when I came on November 6th, I got consensus from the select board 
that it was unanimous that you supported the local option or the charter and the local option tax. Um, and well, I mean, I yeah. we did get consensus and I asked for a motion, so I got it. So I'm thinking with Robert's rules, even though four out of five members may love the idea and one doesn't, I had tacit approval to move forward with that. So that's what I did. Going forward, if that's, I mean, I don't think there's a there's not a lot of wiggle room because Robert's rules, I'm I'm passionate about that. And I, I feel like you people might have a dissenting opinion, but you don't um that's how, that's why government came up with Robert's rules. Oh it's to work through dissent. So well, I kind of, it works kind of okay. Agree with Laura that maybe on Saturday it's not a topic we're going to discuss. Oh yes, no, I don't want to talk. I, I hope we it's don't. Not a budget it's item. it's yeah. not it's not on the budget. Yes, yeah. I just thought you meant in general. So yes, you're right. On Saturday, that's not our our public meeting to talk about right. that. But if it's for open public, everyone thinks that it's going to be, and it's a heated topic. And mm -hmm. Since we've just formed the charter committee, they're assuming it's a done deal. So you've got to book more time. So let me tell you, because well, we're not. I mean, we they can ask a question, but I guess the thing to do would be to educate people that we will have public meetings where you can have that heated debate. It's just not this Saturday. Yeah. You can have it, and you we should have it. I'd like to have it, but it's just not going to be Saturday. So in the past. Yeah. Um, Shap has read the, the rules um, and the, that's what the script is about. And I believe that we've modeled the informational hearing after town meeting, which which we allow that you can speak two times for two minutes each per the subject that we're talking about. So I think somebody could come up and ask two questions for two minutes on mm -hmm. the budget and somebody could come and ask two questions for two minutes on the social service agency presentations would be how I would recommend. Mm -hmm. We should be consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sarah, that sounds really good. I, I was going to say before you spoke up on that, that we could just follow the uh, protocol that we've used in the past for informational meetings. SHAP has done a wonderful job of, of, uh, of running those meetings, and I would suggest that we do the same thing with this. And maybe as part of his script to say at the outset that we are here to talk about the budget, but we're not here to talk about the charter and we're not here to talk about local options tax. And I think if he says that early on, it's going to be very easy for him to, uh, you know, to just say the questions in that regard are, are out of order. That's, mm -hmm. that's, I think that's a great sort of mm -hmm. suggestion, Don. And that must be written down, right? Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. narrative. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. So if he's doing yeah. like in in the regular town meetings, he would basically the agenda was based on what was in front of us uh, as far as the warning was. So we don't have that uh, outline to follow. So I think the outline would be budget, social service agency, um, administration company. announcement. I don't know the, because to make the announcements about the petitions and the, the website. So we would do a budget overview, the board, and then department heads would do a mini. No, it's just going to be the select board just providing select board. an overview. Okay. Because it's, I mean, we haven't voted Tina, on it yet, Tina so it's going to be, be interesting. Yes, yes. Tina and I, um, yeah. and Judy, Sarah, but okay. not every, I mean, we're having an overview and a review next week on Monday. That's when department heads All will right. probably be. Right. So we, we have an overview. It's that one page of. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that what we're going to adhere to, or is it going to be more getting like 30 minutes isn't a whole lot for an overview? So I'm just curious about do we? I think we should start there, and then if people come up like we're all talking about and have a specific question, we can try to answer it. If we can't answer it, we'll we'll get back to them. How are? Um, is there going to be? Is it going to be? Um, Will everyone have the pages of the budget that we're talking about? Is it going to be in a visual? I wasn't going to try to do that in the gym. I didn't know how technically. Judy and I talked about um, talking to Tina and Carrie about some sort of paper that they okay. would have. Like I mean, a brief pack. Like the overview or something. Yeah. yeah. You mean for people physically to have a piece of paper? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just, because it's really hard for the public to know what's going on if they don't have something in front of them. And that this is a working budget, it's still yeah. not yeah, draft. the key mm -hmm. is in, in like the Monday. And also, no, it's on Saturday. 
Yeah, yeah we are going to have a Zoom capability there. Okay. On Saturday. Um, but we were building the agenda so to Shap and, and the six of us would have an idea of what our expected okay. agenda is that day. Yeah. And, you know, we can be flexible um, a little bit and you know, figure out if it worked really well or if we have to change some things for next year. It's our first April. Yeah. yeah, it's the first yeah. ever. And if they can't come on Saturday, then Monday there'll be another opportunity to right. get budget information. Right. We also have then we have to have an informational meeting still. Correct. But that's after the ballots go out. It's yes. just statute driven. We have yeah. to have it ten days. Mm -hmm. No so, more than yeah, 10 based days. on this Monday the eighth, there's a review and then we're having to vote on it the 29th so there's not much time for any discussion here no and then the information meeting for the public is in february mm -hmm. we can only have it 10 days before town meeting right so yeah. it's a crazy crazy thing it just, it'll be february 26th february 26th i haven't talked to carrie about that mm -hmm. but i'm no it has to it has to happen at a That's, certain we date. usually do it that yes. monday the that first yeah town meeting day feels a little late being the fifth yeah um so our informational meeting will be that week, monday before that's during school vacation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when's it going to be february 26th february 26th okay. so i um i'm up for suggestions on who would like to present the overflow gina mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would would Tina, Tina would Tina be the one? I think she would. She'd be willing, okay. and I I mean I can support her, but she's been working on this for a very long time. And that's her, you know, it's her building. Yeah, that's her. Well, the, the jobs. The overview is pretty well scripted in in the sheets that the public has and what we have. So it's really a matter of going down through and talking about the different departments, um, what the percentage increases are. Um, we talk about the special articles. Uh, we talk about um, the unallocated fund balance and where it brings us to in terms of um, you know, uh, discussed percentage increase. And um, I think we can talk about, you know, if any questions come up about the union contract, um, we can discuss that so people understand what our, our agenda is in terms of working with our employees, um, with that type of thing. Um, I think that can be fairly fluid, and I think that the public can sort of direct where their interest is in terms of what they want to talk about, that we give an overview of where, where we started, where we are, mm -hmm. and then, you know, let the public ask questions and if we need to get into the weeds we all have our budget books here um, so we can certainly talk about that intelligently mm -hmm. I, um, I recommend tina to present the facts that's my recommendation and tina so tina and i can, sure. can speak to that yeah. um, and they'll keep it fairly neutral yeah yeah for, for what it's worth you know tina is the expert let's face it on this budget she knows the numbers i i think it's safe to say better than better than most of us and uh I, I would be very comfortable if she's comfortable doing it um having her do the overview and if carrie can help out that would be great as well i i just want to say you know this this community meeting um it's not an informational meeting we i think we all understand that and we're certainly going to get questions but it's worth pointing out to the public that this is a great opportunity for input not just questions, but input, information, anything that they want to provide to us as a board as we finalize this budget. So, um, and I guess the last thing I would say is, Carrie, is is it your thought that the department heads are all going to be there on Saturday? No, actually, we weren't going to ask them to be there on on Saturday. Um, that was really all about the public and other people, like you had just stated, giving us feedback. Um, okay. They're going to be present for net Monday the eighth meeting. Okay. Um, right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. And so, and honest. Uh, go ahead. Are you finished? Uh, uh, all the, all the better reason for Tina to be there and ready to answer those specific questions. And that was the only thing. The only reason I was thinking department heads might be present is to answer something that they would be privy to that we wouldn't be. 
And I would also like to, to say if you can't make the meeting or you come to the meeting and you don't get your, your piece said, you can email me your question or um, comment and I'll relay it to the select board, of course. So some people just don't love to speak in front of, of crowds. Um, and so that's always a, a possibility, but do it fairly quickly if you could. So we can have it for the eighth, <laughs> no pressure, but um, I'll do it after that, of course, as well. But yes, and Tom had a question. Tony. Sorry. Uh, Tony Cody, Cody Hill. So one side of me says 49 people are gonna show up Saturday. They're gonna be a lot of pie. The other side of me says, as a taxpayer, I would like to see 900 people show up and all you people on Zoom need to show up there and either show your pleasure or show your displeasure. And Don, you're invited too. Thank you, Tony. Okay. I think we're ready to move on after on the um, item number um, eight and on to number nine, other business. Um, I will move to go into executive session because I find a premature general public knowledge of the pending contract negotiation will clearly place the town at a disadvantage by disclosing its negotiation strategy. I have, a, I have a motion of a second. A second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Into executive session we go. I would move to go into executive session to discuss pending contract negotiations and uh, legal under provisions of Title I, Section 13A1 of the Vermont Statutes to include interim town manager Kerry Johnson. I have a motion. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes, I have discussion. I, before you go into executive session, who should I call? Oh, you can call me on my work cell that I just text you. You have that, right? Uh, yes. You can I call me if that doesn't work. Call, uh, call me. Call Judy. Okay. okay all great. Right. Thank you. Um, all those in favor? All right. All right. We're into executive session. Thank you, Don.